that has the night off. Within the next 24 hours, the medical examiner's office tells Wesh to it expects to release Kaylee Anthony's remains to a funeral home. As the investigation into her murder grinds on, we've learned that Kaylee's jailed mother, Casey, will eat a Christmas meal of roast beef and get presents. We have team coverage of the big story. Amanda Ober has important advice for parents as they explain Kaylee's death to their children. But we begin with Bob Keeling live outside the Orange County Jail. Bob? Jim, a correction spokesman says Casey will not be allowed out to attend any sort of funeral or memorial service. And this week she can expect to spend Christmas Day alone, but she'll get that meal you mentioned of roast beef and presents. That time, candy cane, a calendar. Candy, uh, cookies, uh, socks, wow. cards, and a pocket calendar. That's what Casey Anthony and 600 other female inmates at the Orange County Jail will be getting for Christmas thanks to a local prison ministry. That's what this is all about, is saying there are people who do care about you while you're here in, in the facility. In addition, Casey's Christmas meal will include roast beef and mashed potatoes. But her protective custody status won't change. The food is served in the cell. Uh, basically, everything occurs in the cell or somewhere apart from the other inmates. On the outside, the lawyer for Kaylee's grandparents says memorial service plans are taking a back seat to the needs of Casey's defense team. There will be a second autopsy by the defense experts in this case. And when they are done, uh, the remains will be re released to George and Cindy, and at that point they'll decide where and, and when they'll do the memorial. At the roadside memorial to Kaylee, Canadian tourist Melanie Depp says the discovery of her remains so close to Christmas has to be agonizing for her grandparents. To have it right before Christmas is, is terrible. A correction spokesman says Casey and her defense team could possibly seek a court order asking for her to get some sort of furlough to be able to go to Kaylee's funeral. But it's likely the courts would defer to the jail's own policy, which is if you're facing a capital or life felony, you can forget it. Reporting live at the